how to set up Wix pricing plans, subscriptions, and memberships. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to set up your membership, subscription, and pricing plans, and also how to customize them and use them. All right, so let's get into it. The first step that we need to do is to install the Wix pricing plan, and that is done by clicking the Wix app market in the left corner here, and let's search Wix pricing plan. Okay, so the app that we will need is this Wix pricing plans app. Um, as you can see here, I already have it installed, but for you, if it's the first time you're using it, then you should install it first. As you can see, you can create beautiful pricing plans like this and uh, connect to your preferred payment provider, manage subscriptions and memberships, customize the look and feel to fit your brand, create and manage coupons we'll get into it later manage plans subscriptions and membership with the wix owner app which we will not cover but we can still do in the website here okay so once you've had uh, the wix pricing plans installed what the app will do is that it will add an entire new page for your pricing plan here like for example, in my page here, once I've installed my Wix pricing plan app, I already have the plans and pricing page here. Okay, so to do that, to, to customize your pricing plan page, we go to settings and we can set a lot of things off this plans and pricing section. So let's go ahead and click plans. So firstly, we need to create a new plan. So let's go ahead and do it now. Let's click create new plan. And it will transport you to the Wix dashboard. And under the Wix dashboard, you can see that it has the pricing plans menu here. So let's, let's add our first pricing plan. Let's say this, the first one is the gold membership. And let's say, for example, is that if you truly believe in us. So let's just say that. So after the plan name and the description, you can um, describe what the customer will get if they get this gold membership plan. So for example, you have unlimited access to blah, blah. Also, maybe they will have a one-on-one -on -one meeting uh, scheduled bi-weekly. And maybe they will also have um, a free course worth a few dollars. So let's just let you get the idea. Okay. Also, you can add a cover image for this gold membership. Maybe you want to design and create a gold lion or a gold shield to go along with the gold membership plan here. Anyway, next is your pricing options. You can set this plan as free, a one-time payment, or a recurring payment, i.e. subscription. So recurring payments is just like a subscription. So let's just say this, it's 200 and let's say it's a monthly subscription for three months six months 12 months or until cancelled or just for one month you can do that if you click custom and set it to one here you can also charge a setup fee that they will pay up front and you can also set up free trial so let's let's set up free trial here and you can also set your length of free trial. So for example, seven days, 14 days, 30 days, you get the idea. Okay, next in the settings menu here, you can set it to limit to one subscription per customer, meaning that when they log in to your website, they can only subscribe to this one subscription here so if they want to buy another subscription of gold membership they will have to change the account this can be useful to prevent double subscriptions if you are if you will okay 
So next is you can allow or not allow the customers to cancel their subscription. Let customers set a start date, add a policy. You can also add a terms and conditions for this plan. So for example, um, if you don't commit, you will not be able to to uh, be in the gold membership anymore or um, something along the lines of that. Also, you can collect an additional info at checkout. You can ask them questions like what brings you here and what interests them in subscribing to your gold membership, etc. And you can also customize the thank you page once they bought the membership here. Let's not go into details for that because we have other things to cover here. All right, so let's click save for now. Oh, I'm sorry. So it should be two, so at least two. And let's set the free trial to seven days. Okay, so let's save that. And there is our first pricing plan. Let's create another plan here to go along with it. Let's call this silver membership and let's make this 100 and let's say it's three months and let's limit it also okay so let's save it all right now if you notice there i have a yellow notice on top it said that i need to connect a payment method to get paid for my subscription plan so if you have not already i recommend you do that by going to click learn more here let's check this out and i'm i'm going to trust you to set this up for yourself but be sure to connect your payment method your uh, account bank account info to wix so that you can receive payments for these memberships okay so for now, let's close this menu here. And now that we have a plan, as you can see, it automatically displayed in your pricing plan section. Now, I'm going to tell you how to edit the uh, display of your pricing plan. So like other sections, you can edit the layout, the display, the text, the design, the add-ons if you want. So let's go over one by one. You can align your title uh, to the left, to the center, to the right. You can also edit the padding. You can also edit your plan description alignment, or you can also add the benefits bullets. You can edit it. So it can be either a check, nothing at all, a lighter check, a checklist, and you can also align them left, center, or right. I feel like if you have a lot of plan pricing, like you have a lot of um, plan pricing, pricing for your uh, customers to choose with, I think you will be better off with the all left alignment like we will have here. However, if you don't, I think the center alignments works better because the leftmost alignment is more uh, readable if you have a lot of pricing here. So let's say if you have five plus pricing that your customer can choose, you can imagine how hard it is to navigate and to read if you have it all on centered here. But that is just my opinion. Uh, suit yourself. Okay, next is the display. You can add the page subtitle. You can also add the plan image, but it's grayed out right now because um, this uh, plan I have here is multiple plan widgets. However, I need a single plan widget. So uh, we, if you want to display your plan image, you need to go to add-ons here on the bottom and click add to page and on the single plan. This will create a brand new single plan page for you. Let's skip that at this point. Okay, so next you can, again, you can you can customize your text. Like, uh, let's say, let's, let's, let's change this to join now. And if 
find one that works for you. I think that's already pretty sweet. And let's see. You can say the buttons to be uh, choose me, I think. And then you can also uh, edit the start free trial button also here. All right. So next is the design. You can add the, you can edit the background and border, textile button and ribbon here, like you would in a normal section. Um, I think for my case now, it's already pretty uh, neat and clean. Okay, so another thing that you can do is to add coupons for you to distribute and use it as a marketing. Okay, so to add coupons, let's go to manage plans and let's go to the dashboard. Let's wait for it to load. Okay. Now in your pricing plan, go to the rightmost button here and click on the three dot and click create coupon. All right. Now it will pop up a coupon menu here. So let's wait for it to load. Okay, there you go. Now you can have a fixed amount discount or a percentage discount. Let's say uh, you can also name your coupon code and your coupon name. Let's say, for example, uh, let's name our coupon starting discount. So maybe you have a YouTube uh, channel and you want to promote your website first. So you want to make this coupon in order for your customers to um, have a better look at your subscription and you can enter your coupon code let's let's follow the the name of the coupon here starting disk 20 because we want it to be 20 percent maybe and you can also add you can also set where does this coupon applies to whether this coupon only applies to all plans a specific plan or a minimum order subtotal let's let's check out specific plan now you can set it to gold membership or silver membership here and you can apply it to first billing cycle or all billing cycle so for example if you want to have a first time discount maybe you want to discount the entirety of that first person's um, of your customer um, entirely you can do that so they will have a lower price than anyone else every time or you can just apply it for your first billing cycle also you need to add your valid between uh, date here so let's say it's it will apply for uh, 30 days so let's uncheck this don't set an end date and go to like February 29th of 2024 you can also limit the total numbers of users for this coupon and limit to one user per customer. Okay, so let's click create coupon here. And there you go, you've made your coupon. Now, one more thing that I want to show you is a page feature. So if you want to reserve a page in your website to your member, you can do that by going to your pages and menu button here. And let's say, for example, I only want to show my portfolio page to the gold membership customers. And that can be pretty easy to do. You go to the rightmost button here and go to settings, permissions, and you can set between everyone, password holders, or members only. And you can add it to all members or only selected members or paying customers. You can sort by your member roles or our focus here your pricing plan so you can set it to only either gold membership both or just silver membership and that is how you reserve a page for your members so only gold members can access your portfolio page i think that is all for now thank you very much for watching i hope this find you helped thank you